All right, so you've heard LinkedIn's a powerful platform, a great place to generate leads. You've started reaching out to people, but you've just found that people are ignoring you. You're not making any progress and you're spending a lot of time and basically wasting your time, wasting your money and wasting your efforts. So what can you do to make sure that your connection messages on LinkedIn aren't getting ignored so you actually have a chance to pitch yourself, to actually tell people how you can add value to them? Hey, how's it going? Ryan Kazel here from b2bleads.com. And today I want to give you five reasons why your connection messages could be getting ignored on LinkedIn, which is going to be preventing you from sending any further messages to those connections, to those potential clients, and actually getting a chance to you know, communicate why you should be a valuable person to talk to, continue a dialogue, get them on phone calls, and get sales. All right, so let's straight jump straight into it. Uh, you can see I've already added the first one on here. You're targeting the wrong people. So this may seem really obvious, but a lot of people just build these really broad lists on LinkedIn, like, you know, owner of small business, rather than trying to get more specific on someone um, around a specific pain point, a specific problem for a specific service. So the more specific you can get, better success you're gonna have, the more likely you're gonna get people to convert. Uh, even simple things like targeting people who are engaged on LinkedIn, posting on LinkedIn, because we know that they're active in using the platform. So they're more likely to be using it and engaging with us once we reach out to people. So target targeting the right people. And I've just put out a really good video, like it's over an hour long on how to use Sales Navigator to find and build really tight lists of your exact target market and get those lists like bang on so that you can um, get a much better conversion rate when you're reaching out to people. So the first reason why your connection messages might be getting ignored is you're sending them to the wrong people. Even if you're doing everything else right, you're not gonna make any progress. Next one, too salesy. So LinkedIn is a great professional uh, platform, a great place to network and talk to the right people, but people, often come with a very B2C type uh, marketing mentality, marketing language, and it comes across just too salesy, too over the top, and people don't tend to respond too well to it on LinkedIn, which is great for um, anyone who likes to be, who's from a more technical and upfront sort of background. Um, so long as you know how to communicate your value in a way that's um, very open and honest, you tend to get a lot more success than this really over the top, goofy, salesy type language um, that comes across very salesy, very unnatural. And I find personally, from having done this for years and years, it just doesn't seem to work as well. And also I just don't enjoy writing that way. I like to have more genuine conversations and they tend to respond better on LinkedIn. Now, if the connection message is too salesy, you're gonna have issues. But the other issue is the messages aren't salesy enough, which is probably where most people tend to sit, is that people are worried that they're gonna come across too salesy and they've wrote these really passive messages that you know people might connect, but they're connecting for the wrong reasons. So we really wanna make sure that we understand our value and we're communicating why we wanna get in contact with people rather than just you know connecting for connection sake and then hitting them with a like, uh, you know, two page essay on why they should buy your services. That just pisses people off. So you want people to connect for the right reasons. You need to understand um, your value proposition, your message to market and communicate in a way that's like, hey, this is um, this is what we do. This is what I'm really good at. If you see any value in that, it would be great to connect. And so a similar framework to that, um, that's one I've used a lot of the time, is super powerful. So if you're connecting with the right people, you know your value, you have um, confidence in that value, then you're gonna get a lot more people connecting and connecting for the right reasons. So the other one is not interested, which, you know, is very possible. So there's often times, and this is, you know, this is where no matter how good your marketing is, you just can't, you can't market something if there's no market need. So the market will always win. And if there isn't a market need, if there isn't an interest in your service, if you, what you're selling is just too unbelievably niche or just completely saturated in a marketplace where people don't want it, it doesn't matter how good your marketing is, you're gonna have trouble selling it or you're gonna reach a limit pretty damn quickly. So this is a problem that lives far outside of the actual marketing itself. And it's pretty, pretty overarching for the whole business. So it's oftentimes for businesses, they do need to say, well, if we wanna grow, we wanna take control of our growth and build a digital marketing strategy outside of just people who know us, then we may need to seriously reconsider our entire marketing business value proposition. So if there's no market need, then you can't get people to connect with you. 
simple as that. And the last one is trust. People don't trust you. And the simplest way to build trust uh, is getting your profile right on LinkedIn. If what happens when you reach out to connect with someone, people tend to check out your profile. Now, if you've got some dodgy picture of you in thongs and stubbies drinking a beer, it doesn't scream professionalism. If it doesn't look like a proper profile, it doesn't build credibility, build trust, then people aren't gonna connect. So once again, there's tons of content on this channel around how to write a really powerful profile on LinkedIn. This is the first point of call. Um, one of the four key pillars in outbound gen lead generation is around your profile and presence on LinkedIn. If you're reaching out to people and your profile doesn't resonate, doesn't build trust, then people aren't gonna connect. So I hope that helps in terms of how to improve your connection messages, what to consider. There's some great templates on this channel. Um, I'll leave a link below so that you can find some templates. So it's a bit more, I guess, obvious how to write your messages specifically. But um, any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer. And as always, have a great day. Cheers.